Hello, it's Pastor James, just doing a little bit of work on my chicken coop today. And thought I'd kind of show you, give you a, a tour, another chicken coop tour. Uh, my coop was built more with the user in mind than the chicken. Um, not to say that it's not comfortable for the chicken, but uh, I tried to design this coop for ease of use with a northern Michigan uh, chicken owner in mind since it gets very snowy and very icy and very cold here. Um, so I will show you my coop. We've got a big picture window that we recycled um, and mainly everything here is recycled. Um, got our chicken layer baskets here are uh, actually a couple of five gallon pails sawed in half so the egg will roll out. I'll show that from the other side. Our flooring is concrete blocks, and uh, today I'm actually going to be putting down on top of that uh, this stuff, which I'm hoping, you can see the side profile, will give um, some aeration underneath and maybe keep it all drier. That's the idea, at least. Um, let's see where the chicken run is accessed right here. They're wanting to come back in, but I am not going to let them until I'm done. And we'll step outside and take a look at the coop itself. My one regret is that I didn't make this door uh, bigger. It's kind of hard to get in and out of. We'll step out here, take a look at the chicken run, the chicken coop from the outside. Uh, when we were doing some work on the house, we had extra materials and we just built this into the side of the house. And here is the run out here. Um, and they are anxious to get back into their coop. And I built this on the side of the garage, as I said, with Northern Michigan in mind, that we would be able to access the food, uh, the egg box, and the eggs roll out through here and down in here. Uh, I didn't originally have the five gallon pails in there, but or the halves, but I had some chickens that were eating their eggs, and so this was a good way to get the eggs out. Um, I had this watering system that I made up. I'm actually in the process of redoing that as well. Uh, the bucket would sit up on top here and basically just allowed me to fill the water from the inside. Had heat tape wrapped around it and uh, yeah, but that dripped, dripped a lot. So now I'm going to be switching to some horizontal uh, chicken, call them chicken nipples that the chickens peck at and get the water out. So that's today's projects and uh, I'll show you uh, a recap when I'm done.